I'm in the middle of building a guitar out of some uh, swamp cowrie. This wood has been carbon dated to 42,000 years old and it's, it's great fun. The thing is, I want to use as much of it as humanly possible and uh, we cut this off the headstock and I asked you guys if I should make some plectrums out of it and uh, you said yes, so here we are. Burn it. <laughs> now, carry is a very soft wood, and uh, as such, I've got a bit of an idea. I'm going to dovetail some aluminium to the playing tip of this, and, uh, well, might work, might fail utterly, but uh, <laughs> it's going to be fun to try. On we go. Let's just do it on the other side, shall we? Okay, stop. First things first, I'm going to actually whack this through a, uh, through a thicknesser and get a, 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 an even thickness. Might as well match the, uh, the aluminium. So, yeah. Okay, um, so I've just come back. Oh, wrong camera. Hi. Hey, how you doing? <coughs> yeah, I put this through the uh, thickness sander, which is just a quick option. I don't currently have a sharp plane here, which is sad. Onwards. I'm worried about these veneers splitting. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Done. Well, that absolutely failed. The joints, uh, the joints just suck, and uh, uh, it is what it is. On such a thin piece of wood, I'm not surprised that it fails down the centre of the veneer. So uh, it's a good thing that I've got a, another piece of wood waiting in the wings. I'm going to go thickness this, and we're going to start again. Which grain direction are we going? All the grain directions. Come to think of it. I don't necessarily want it to be flat or perfect. That'll, that'll do. That's where we're going to make our plectrum from. So my thought was, with this, that I would uh, have a pair of dovetails going across the joint, thus strengthening everything else, but uh, yeah, failed. Uh, in this case, we're probably going to have, well, let's just say a single dovetail there for now, just to see what happens and prove the concept, but uh, yeah. Is it perverse of me that I really rather enjoy it when something goes catastro cat catastrophically wrong? We can then uh, try something else. So uh, very chunky, but uh, I'm going to end up going relatively uh, delicate at the tip. <laughs> That's a bit flatter. Probably take it down even more. <laughs> That'll do. Okay, crimson sanding stick, one of my favorite tools. This is the small one. I really like chunky plectrums, but uh, yeah, it's gonna be a little bit thinner than that in the end. Now, here's the plan. Essentially, take some aluminium. Oh, why not? Should we do a should we do a triple box? That'll be quite fun, won't it? I think I'm insane. Okay, uh, so I've tidied up a little bit, but it's still gonna be a very hand-made thing here. 
which is fine. Wait, I'm not even sure if this is going to work. But it is the journey that counts. <laughs> this <fr> frickin' <laughs> handle fell out of my frickin' saw blade. Dagnamit. This is what happens when you buy modern tools. <sighs> what the hell? That just sucks. Didn't break the blade though, <laughs> which surprises me. <sighs> this aluminium is not particularly great aluminium. It's, it's clumping on the blade and uh, uh, making things catch, which is why I pulled the handle off. This must be an old scratch plate or something, or neck plate I tried to make 20 odd years ago. Oh, don't break. Don't break. Ah. Think I can. Think I can. Think I can. I think I can. Oh yes! Look at that! I didn't break a blade. <laughs> People, it's the little things. Oh, I just punched the camera. Okay. So essentially, that's what we're after. <laughs> I don't know if this is a good idea or not. Uh, come on then. Uh, clean this up with a little file. Do hope the, uh, the client likes slightly chunky, slightly weird plectrums. This is another dangerous bit. Because I've got some very delicate parts here. We might, might snap them off. And this might not ever see the light of day. I'm not sure if it's a good idea or if it's insane, but uh, yeah. The funny thing is I've never been good at dovetails, so. <laughs> the dovetailing metal is actually relatively straightforward because you can peen it in and sort of get it to fill spaces and things, yeah. but uh, yeah. I wonder if maybe I'm going about this the wrong way. But, but essentially, I think you want to do the tails first. I don't know. Does it matter? Fight me in the comments. Let me know. I am wary of that little spot there. That's fairly delicate. So uh, I'm going to take more material off the metal once I've got a shape I like here. Oh, so close. Well, that is starting to do what I want it to. Uh, I'm going to get some glue and push it in place because once that's in there, I don't think I'm going to get it off without breaking those little um, uh, tails off. Okay, we don't want to uh, glue anything to the jewelers in there, Jake. And a little bit belatedly put these on. I don't want to hurt myself. Okay. No, too small. Well, ha! Ah. <laughs> ah, okay, there we go. I'm, I'm happy with this. Very happy indeed. That's just filling the gaps with dust and glue. 
and the same will happen on that. Once we get down to it. I'm having a damn good day today. This is fun. Dovetails ahoy there, Josh. Seriously, I was in the student room yesterday. Yeah. And uh, I helped uh, one of the students cut a couple of uh, fret ends off. Yeah. And it was the first time I touched a guitar with, <laughs> with a tool all week and it felt great. <laughs> and, and sad at the same time because I just hadn't been able to do it all week really. Okay, I need a coarser file. Now at this point, if I heat the aluminium up too much, I'm going to destroy that glue joint. So I need, to be, I need to be aware of that. But I also really want to see what this looks like far back a little bit. So patience be damned. I think this is going to be one of the coolest plectrums I've ever made. It's a, it's a bit hot, so I hope it stays together. We'll see. Some carving to do, some shaping, and uh, we'll see. Even if it's just something nice that stays in the case with the guitar, it's, it's cool. Uh, so you're saying on, on, on the one side you have a, a, a piece of metal covering the whole dovetail and then you've got dovetail from that side. Yeah. That would be... But on one side you, I think it's you still be fine. see the awesome dovetail. Test. I think it's going to be fine. Oh, yeah. It's kind of like hardcore and cute at the same time. Mm -hmm. I think um, I think we're going to have to make these. Sam. That's a great idea. I think we have to start a company making dovetailed plectrums. Those could also be made out of acrylic. I've, I've seen that done before and uh, like it. Actually, some, something I've seen done before, a, a student like five years ago, ten years, eight years ago, before acrylic was a thing, he snapped some wood and then made the acrylic there, so it, it, it was fibres, nice. and then the, the tip was the um, resin. Masking tape and super glue. Okay, so yeah, well, at this point it's, uh, it's the easy stuff. Just uh, shape it down, make it a little bit thinner. I still want the, uh, the carry to be wedge shaped. This was supposed to be a lunchtime project. It's, uh, you know, what can you do? <sighs> okay, so there are various options here. Essentially, do the whole thing by hand, uh, fiddle around, sand off my, my fingertips, etc. Uh, push it over the edge of, a, of the sanding jig and go like that. And this is what I'm tempted to do with this one. Another option is to glue the plectrum to, uh, to the end of a stick, for example. And then you can use a, a machine to shape it. But uh, in this case, it's not necessary. We've got a far less, a, a much less chunky plectrum than uh, some of the other ones that I've made by hand. And this is actually working perfectly fine. Taking a piece of sandpaper off uh, a medium sized stick though, because. Uh, I couldn't be bothered to fold some coarser paper for my medium sized stick. <laughs> okay. This is, uh, this is almost, this is almost done. I'm just imagining doing this with, uh, uh, I don't know, ebony and, uh, and sterling silver or something, something like that. It could. Could be cool. Let me know if you would uh, be interested in buying something like that for some extortionate amount. Yeah. 
So, penetrating guitar finishing oil. You can't see that, but hey, who cares? You're looking at uh, the most over-engineered plectrum ever. <laughs> oh, why did I have to make this out of cowrie? I have to give it to the client. Okay, so reality is uh, I'm in love with this thing. It looks really cool now that it's got the, the finish on it. It's fiddly as all hell to make, but that's just plectrum making for you. Uh, specifically, if you're going to go with something uh, delicate and thin. You know, this isn't this isn't a chunky old beast of a plectrum like I would normally do. Let's see what it plays like. Let's see, let's see, let's see if it plays. Let's see if it stays together. I think that's the, uh, that's the real thing. Okay, so I've raided uh, the Dorset Guitar Museum. Uh, this is my intensely rare Hofner President Thin. It's a beautiful guitar. And I figured, uh, you know, an acoustic thing would be fine. Uh, because, hey, we're not going to plug into an amp or anything. <laughs> okay, so that, that patron is not falling apart. Uh, this is a, a Jazz 3. So here's a I mean, there is a difference in tone. Jazz three, it's a little bit warmer. Aluminium. But but it's fine. Uh -huh, what's on the bench? Okay, this is this is this is awesome. We, I've, I'm filming as well. Okay, it's the same. Is this like crossing, crossing the this stream, is... or something weird happened? Do you think? Do you think we'll all explode? Thank you for doing that. <laughs> Love those kind of streams. Crimsonception. This is what's on the bench. At the end of the week, we go through and we film what everybody's working on here, what all the students are working on in our uh, literary school, etc and uh, it just seems to have dovetailed. I am in love with this plectrum. It's cool, it's a little bit brighter. Aluminium is a valid material, so is titanium, so is silver, probably not gold. Um, I would love to make a silver and ebony version. Hey, I would love to, to just make a bunch of dovetailed plectrums. It's such a cool little idea. Is that big hit it? I came up with it. Eh, I don't know. Anyway, look, I've had a blast. Thank you very much for joining in on the journey. Click like, subscribe, share this with all of your friends, and hey, get in the workshop and make your own plectrums. Uh, it, it's, you know, a file, a bit of sandpaper, and a little saw, and some material. It's about all you need. So, there we go. Catch you later. Goodbye.